Hi guys! Today we will present to you the creative character motion transition that you see in the opening scene. And if you want to create a similar effect, then you don't want to miss today's video. Free download the video vlogger through the link we put in the description box down below. And let's dig in! Launch your software. Create a new project. Import the videos of the characters we prepared. Then drag them together into the video track. Let's do some basic editing first. You can use the split tool to edit the clip. Or you can just drag and drop the clips with the mouse. Once we're done, we need to work on the following effects. Move the playhead to the last frame of the first clip. Find the camera icon at the top of the preview window. Click on it to generate a screenshot. Go back to the interface. Move the playhead again to the last frame of the second clip. Generate another screenshot. And finally, generate a screenshot of this frame. Now we have three images. The materials are ready. Let's go to this website. Import the three images we just created together. And we key the three images. Then import the kit image into Vlogger. Find this icon. Click on it to add more overlay tracks. First, drag the kid image into overlay track 2. Be sure to put it right at the end of the first clip. Adjust the size to fill the frame. Add the duration. Next, find the motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it to enter the motion editor panel. Here I want to create a rightward and downward motion effect for the character. So we first click on Add Keyframe in the first frame. Adjust the size and the position of the frame to ensure that it covers the whole frame. Then move the playhead back and add another keyframe. This time we move the box a little to the left. Move the playhead back again and click Add Keyframe. Then we move the box up to bring it out of the picture. Finally, add a keyframe to the last frame to keep it out of the frame. For a smooth dynamic effect, we can also add a speed curve to the keyframe here. Here is a preview. That's not bad. Click Apply to apply the adjustment. Now use the shortcut Ctrl C to copy it again. Paste it on the overlay track 1 and overlay track in turn. Adjust the position to make them appear in order. And of course, to pursue a retro effect, we can also adjust their color. First, click to select it. And then click on the color icon. Select the BMW filter on the left panel. This way, we can quickly get a different style of the image. Let's do the same for the other one as well. Now you can have this effect. The next step is to create a motion painter for this image. I will select a zoom rotate preset directly here. Adjust the timing of the keyframes. And then adjust the keyframe parameters. A 
apply the adjustment and go back to the main screen. Then, find the fade and move area in the inspector. Add a fade out effect to it. This will make the switching effect smoother. Finally, when we add this section, I will use the same logic but in a different way. For example, I would first colorize the two images like in the first part. And then, instead of adding motion to them, I would just change the position to create a different image. To deepen the atmosphere of the video, I have also prepared these rather retro materials including lens flare, film burns, light leak. I will share all these materials in our fan group so that you guys could use them for free. Now you just need to find a proper time. Drag the footage onto the overlay track too. Then go to inspector and click on the height to make it fit to the screen. Scroll down and find the compositing area. Select the screen blend mode for it to make it blend with the screen. This will give it a different effect. Using the same method, we will work on the last few parts of the overlay. In addition, it is also essential to have a background music in your video. Drag it into the audio track. Adjust the duration to align with the frame. Then add a fade out effect. Now we're done with all the editing. All right, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other end tricks or what has been going on with Video Pro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.